Mixins is a way for Riot tags to share common functionality, so a more conventional way of thinking about them would be similar to inheritance, only in a much simpler way. I'll start by creating a new tag file and just call it CTA or click through action. Create the opening and closing tags and add a button. Remove some of the attributes and we'll set the name via the options object. So we'll have to define it on the CTA tag implementation. And the same for the button text, options.label. Then I'll implement that CTA tag on the index file. Just replace the hello world tag. Assign it a name, say CTA button, and set the button text to click here via that label attribute. And link to that tag by replacing this hello world script. Save, and we get that button. Now, there's three ways of implementing mixins, the first being locally on a single tag. So add a script tag and define the mixin object on the tag that will be adding the mixin. I'll call this required option, make that an object, and add a method called check option. Pass a variable called option, OPT, and say if false this dot options opt then log an error to the console saying missing option and the option variable this should be fairly clear but what this method does is simply take the string argument that gets passed to it and check it on the current tag instances options to see if it exists it's important to understand here that when a mixin gets added to a tag, it becomes part of that tag's instance, hence why we can access the tag's instance via this in the mixin. Then to actually add the mixin to the CTA tag, we can say this.mixin and pass the mixin object. And this now allows us to use the methods on that mixin as part of our tag instance. Say this.check option and we'll check for name. Save that and everything is fine as the name option is set. If however I jump over to the implementation and remove the name attribute, save, we see that error being logged in the console. Missing option name. Another neat feature of mixins, again much like classes, is that we can define an init method that will run as soon as the tag is mounted. I'll change this check option method to init, remove the variable, and check explicitly for that name option. And get rid of this check options method. Save. Of course nothing as the name option is set. So over to the index file, remove that name option again, save, and we get the error in the console again. We can now also do something like this dot on mount and log required option mixin add it to this dot root dot local name, which is the name of the tag this tag instance belongs to. Save that and we see required option mixin added to CTA. This is great, but I've found that I pretty much never use mixins locally like this. Instead, we can use a shared mixin, which is the second method of adding a mixin. I'll cut this mixin from the tag and add it to the index file. We could, of course, have added this to its own JavaScript file as well and simply linked to it. And then we can register this mixin by saying riot.mixin, give it a name. I'll just stick to required option and pass the mixin object. This is now what's called a shared mixin, so it's available to all tags but still needs to be added to them explicitly, which we do in the same way as before.
save the CTA tag and we still get that same log message from the init method. And if I comment this out, nothing. So to me, this is the most practical implementation as it allows us to share mixins across our app, but still gives the developer control over where to implement them. The third and final way of using mixins is what's referred to as a global mixin. All we need to change to do this is remove the mixin name. So simply riot.mixin and pass the mixin object. Save, and interestingly, we get that log message twice in the console. That's because global mixins automatically gets added to all tags, and then we still have that explicit call to add the mixin in our tag as well. I'll just get rid of that. Save, and now we get the expected behavior.